In Ed Couch Elsa, a special meeting set for tomorrow will determine if the superintendent's contract will be renewed. Several board members speaking out tonight saying it's too soon to renew Rodriguez's contract as they say a proper evaluation should be done first. Our local 23's Iris Karami has the latest. Before they consider renewing Greg Rodriguez's contract, Ed Couch Elsa ISD board members first want a climate survey completed. The survey would look into and address concerns that would help the district instill positive changes. Uh, the morale in the school district needs to be improved. We get calls regularly from teachers and other employees that are that are scared and obviously the morale is down. We ask for a climate survey to be done uh, prior to any uh, discussion. Board member Fernando Torres says a five year contract was mentioned, but says a renewal of five years is an unusually long term. Torres, along with JJ Ivarra, another board member confirmed Rodriguez has been written up twice. Both agree a renewal is inappropriate at this time. And I think to try to rush an increase when we're still going through, uh, as you mentioned, some disciplinary issues, uh, it's just, I don't agree with um, rewarding negative behavior. Torres says Rodriguez also proposed a 7% salary increase for select administrators while giving 2% to all other district staff. Under Rodriguez, Torres adds for the first time in the district's history, they received an F in their financial rating. Just recently, we, we did not meet uh, our audit deadline. That's anything from your bonds to uh, monies that are out there. And, and obviously, the, the state uh, takes an F rating very seriously. And that's something that concerns me dramatically. Torres says students' test scores are also suffering. Pre-COVID test scores. To today's test scores have not improved, and that's a big concern for Mr. Ivar and myself. This is not the first time Rodriguez's contract extension has been placed on an agenda. Torres and Ivarra have filed a temporary restraining order on Rodriguez's extension. That TRO expires tomorrow, meaning board members will have to vote on whether or not to renew the contract. Putting local first in Ed Couch Elsa, I'm Iris Karemi. Local 23 did reach out to Rodriguez for comment. He did not respond. We'll keep you up to date with the very latest on valleycentral.com.